Hey guys, it's Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. Welcome. Uh, today's Monday. We're ready to get started on a new uh, series, and uh, we're going to take it from Mark chapter 4. Uh, and I might as well tell you this right now. This, this chapter really tells us that Jesus is a cowboy, and you wonder why. Well, here it's going to talk about the fact that he always talks about a pair of bulls. A pair of bulls. Do you get it? A pair of bulls. A parable, I'm sorry, a pa that's supposed to be funny. A parable is a story where Jesus takes a natural thing and then speaks spiritual things, but he uses the natural in order to explain it. Let me show you. Uh, picking up with verse 2, and it says, And he taught them many things by parables and said to them in his teaching, Listen, behold, a sower went out to sow. And it happened as he sowed that some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds of the air came and devoured it. Some fell on stony ground, where it uh, did not have much earth, and immediately sprang up because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among the thorns, and the thorns choked it. Uh, or, I'm sorry, the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no crop. And then verse 8 says, But others fell on good ground and yielded a crop that sprung up, increased, and produced some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some one hundred. And he said to them, He who has an ear, let him hear. So Jesus is saying, Hey, and, and he's speaking here, of course we all have ears, but he's speaking here of turning on your spiritual ears. Listen to what he's trying to say spiritually. Now we're going to break this all down uh, in, uh, in the next couple days, but today I want to take a look at verse 10 and 11 because I think it's so important. Jesus said, but when he was uh, alone, notice when he was alone, those around him with the twelve asked him about the parable. And he said to them, to you it has been given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but to those who are outside all things come in parables. So that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest they should turn and their sins be forgiven them. Boy, there's so much to be said there. First of all, I want you to see that Jesus was alone. In other words, the multitudes had left him. So it was him and just a few. It was his 12 disciples, but just a few other people. So many times, I can tell you as a minister, so many times the, the greatest ministry that takes place is after a meeting because the ones that hang out are usually the ones that are really hungry for the word. And this is what Jesus is dealing with here. There's a group of people that are sticking around after the meeting because they want to know what Jesus meant. He was speaking in natural terms, but he was trying to get across the spiritual concept, and they wanted to know because they were hungry for it. I encourage you, man, when you're around a man of God who is speaking the word, and if you don't understand, hang out. Get church after church and find out what he has to say, because that's when, when you really begin to understand the things that govern the kingdom of God. And notice it says, to you it has been given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. But to those who are outside, uh, all things are in parables. So again, those who stuck around, those who were there, it was for them to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. Now, uh, you say, well, what, what about the mysteries? If they're a mystery, then they're not for me. Well, we've talked about this in several passages, like in um, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 where it talks about the mysteries of God and it's for us, for us to know and, and it, it's revealed to us through his uh, spirit, the Bible says in again in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Um, in Ephesians chapter, I think it's 3, it talks about the mysteries and it says to the intent that the manifold mysteries of God are made known by the church to powers and principalities. That means the church is given those mysteries, we begin to understand those mysteries and then we get to, to share with the world and those who don't understand, they can hear the truth and they can yield to the truth. So. Again, we're going to break this parable down, but I want you to know that it's so important that 
that we understand that Jesus here is speaking about a spiritual concept and we need to turn on our spiritual ears to hear and hang out with him because he'll reveal the mysteries of the kingdom. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Read this over and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.